using Gulp, Sans, and Browser Sync for your front-end web development. You no longer need to refresh your browser after every CSS change. Using Browser Sync, your devices will showcase your website with style and without touching your device. Create your own device lab and speed up your responsive web design workflow. Here you can see Browser Sync in action. If I scroll on my main screen, this site on the smaller screens will scroll as well. Any clicks on the main menu will toggle the main menu as well on larger screens. And if I change the page, all other browsers will refresh and change to that page as well. This allows you to check your website across devices very quickly and speeds up your workflow greatly. Browser Sync also displays any changes in your SAS or CSS right away. Here I will change my color of the accent from red to black. And when I get back to the screen and I save, all screens turn to black and showcase the change. If I change it back to red again and press save, also the change is reflected again. What you will need, a project folder, uh, an index.html file, an empty CSS folder, an SCSS folder with a app.scss file. Here you will place your uh, access. Node.js should be installed. Just go to the Node.js website and follow the install procedure. And you need gulp.js. To install gulp, just visit docs. Uh, you get to the GitHub README. Um, there's a documentation and a getting started page. And there's a line there to install Gulp globally on your computer. Simply go to your, uh, your window and enter npm install g gulp and it will install Gulp for you. Once Gulp and Node.js are installed, open your terminal and command line in your project folder. Uh, and type in the following npm install gulp gulp sas browser sync save dev. It will now install all the dependencies. Next, create a gulp file.js inside your project folder. With this file, you can enter your gulp settings. Which, we'll do, which we will do in the next step. Inside the gulp.js file you can place the following code. Let's go through the code step by step. First are some variables which determine what is needed inside your gulp file. Next is the path to your SAS files. Here you create a task to compile SAS to CSS. Here you set the gulp task for browser sync. It will watch certain files for changes and update them. And finally you set up the gulp watch task. This will watch your files and should you change or update your SCSS file, it will automatically run a task to change the CSS to CSS, which in turn toggles the browser sync function. So we will need an index.html file. I'll just set up my awesome or my amazing project and I'll add an h1 to demonstrate browser sync using SAS. So an H index.html file. We will also need a CSS folder and we will need an scss folder with an app.scss file. This is a sas file where we will write our sas or css. You're ready to run gulp watch. Simply go to your terminal or command line and type in gulp watch. It should start and open up your browser to your folder and as you can see it shows red text in our HTML file 
let me resize and show you if we change the color from red to blue it will detect the change and refresh the browser the browser sync is working now you can simply visit the URL browser sync created on any device and start working Many thanks to the creators of Node.js, Gulp.js and BrowserSync. It's an amazing tool and speeds up my workflow. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Uh, my name is Menno Pietersen. Follow me on Twitter, MennoPP, and visit my site anyscreensize.com or designformwithin.com.